Hello everyone and welcome back to I Love Editor X. So today I want to show you how to create this effect. So when you scroll down it looks like you are reveal uh, more content. It's like a screen uh, like like a screen. All right, so let's jump in. So this effect is purely created with grid and sticky position. So first of all, let's see how sticky position works. Uh, it's really important. So if I select this container that contain this text element and I will set it to be sticky you will see that when I start to scroll down wait I need to I need to disable the fixed position so you to see it better. Alright, so when I start to scroll down, what happened? When the element reached to the top of the section, when I scroll, it gets stick to the top and came with me until when? It stopped when it reached to the bottom of its own section. Alright, so this is how it works. So, another thing that if I set this one to be fixed, so basically it's take, it's, al it's always uh, in the top of the uh, section, of the of the site and when it's with this element it gets sticky you can see that it lose the height of the behind the height of the header so how you can solve it you can basically uh, set if this header is uh, 60 pixel height I can set it to be top offset of 60 and then you will see that it's stuck but it keep gap of 60 pixel from the height from top all right so let's start uh, create this effect all right so for this one I need uh, I don't need a background to the section but I will add a background to the page um, this color I guess yeah all right so I have my own section and I will apply grid to it of two columns okay two rows okay the first row will contain this content and the second row will contain this uh, gallery okay I will show now uh, how to create a, um, a custom product page but a shop page to the store uh, but basically you can ap apply this design for each uh, for each page you create so when you install the store you you are getting the shop page and it's getting with this uh, application okay this is the default but I will show you how to create your own uh, and, and not have to use this uh, this element but for now I will put this element right in this section the second section right I will stretch it you know what I will set it to be 100 pixels and I will add gap of I will add padding to the section of 30 pixels from le left and right and I will do the same for this section to keep it consistent alright so right in the top I will add a container that will hold all my content for the first part, this part, all right? And I will stretch it. I will remove the border because it's all it's came with the border, and I will add an image and stretch it and change this image to my design. All right. Next part, I will add a gallery inside this section and also I will stretch it and I will change the layout because the default application is allow you to use only one or two layouts but the gallery gallery allow you to use uh, more designed layout okay so let's just mm, play with it a bit um, 
settings design overlay let's make it black and what else uh, we use text I will display the title and description and I will make it center and what else let's add a button it will say click here I don't care and item style it will be blur on hover all right so next thing I need to do I need to connect this poor gallery to the, co the product collection of the store so I need to add data set to the page so let's add it and it should be connected to the stores the products all right and now after I got my data set I can connect the image to the media image the title to the name the description let's say to I don't know to the price and the link is connected to the product page URL so let's see if it works for us I will publish the site and we'll go to uh, this page so I can go directly to this page from here page SEO and go to URL all right so I can see that uh, I have all my uh, content here with a, with a custom made um, layout this is the traditional layout that came with the application and this is the pro gallery so if I click like this uh, element to the shirt so I go to the right product page all right great so now let's start creating this uh, this effect so I will go to my uh, section and I will adjust the grid so let's say um, I want to I want this uh, content to be to fill the, the 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 screen the window so it basically should be 100 VH right so let's make it 100 VH and the row of the the pro gallery it I, I set it to be auto and now you can see that this menu is push our content our first row content actually I will name this container uh, hero content so we will know what it stands for uh, so if I go to the to the published site you can see that it's not perfectly 100 VH why is that is because this header it's it's pushing our content and you can see that we have a bit of scroll right here in the down so I need to take it first of all I need to uh, make this header to overlap next section but you will see that it's this this is problem only to non non uh, premium sites because you can see that I still have a scroll because of this uh, created on editor X banner for who, who, who buy a, a premium you don't see this banner but but for this example I don't have a premium so I can calculate calculate it because I know this is uh, height height is 50 pixels so I can go to the section and I just the grid and make it instead instead of absolute 100 vh i can calculate and and do minus 50 pixels so you can see right now that this is a perfect 100 vh wait let me refresh again so you can see as i start to scroll down i can start to see the, the gallery all right so next thing we will start to use the sticky position so instead of this um, pro gallery to start on, on the second row, I will make it start on the first, first row to the three. All right, so now it's covered my, my uh, hero content. All right, and I will also set it to be sticky. 
so this pro gallery is sticky to the top okay uh, I would just make sure my section doesn't have height on its own you can see it's very high big uh, height so I will remove it and all I need to do I need to to ar uh, arrange and set back to the pro gallery so it looks something like this all right so now it's sticky but if you remember when sticky elements stop to be sticky when it's reached to the bottom of the section but right now you can see that the pro gallery is fill the whole section so basically it cannot be sticky because as it's reached to the top of this section is it's already reached to the bottom of the section so what happened this content is cover the the pro gallery but you can see as i start to scroll this is going up as i want to but this um, uh, pro gallery is covered and i don't see the all the content behind of it so here is the most important things to do we need to go to the section adjust the grid and add extra column extra row below this uh, pro gallery and it should be exactly same height as the first row that hold our content why because it should be identical to the height of this content which is hide the pro gallery and when we are start to scrolling we need we need enough space right in the bottom to make the pro gallery stick to the top and keep scrolling Okay, so let's do it so let's go to calculation and it should be 100 VH minus 50 pixels 100 minus 50 oh. all right so so right now you will see what happens if I refresh it another one so as I start to scroll you can see that this section is scrolling up as the regular behavior of the browser but this uh, pro gallery is stick to the top and it have enough space to keep keep be sticky uh, same as this height okay so when it's reached to the bottom you get back to the a regular score so let's make it a bit uh, more designed so I will add a margin from this one that's 200 pixels margin and here basically you can this is display the, the default okay uh, you can you can choose to to present here collection different collections so you can basically display uh, different content from the regular application and from the uh, pro gallery okay so I want to create this effect that I have a little gap here so it's not fill the whole uh, section the whole screen so I know behind this image there is a container so I can add padding from bottom of 30 pixels and I will add a background to this container so I don't see the the pro gallery behind it and I will add a border to this image because this is part of my design language and also you can see right here that there is a line here okay this is part of the container how can I add a button border to the container I can use shadow a solid color and no blur with one distance that this will create a one pixel border from the bottom and also not also I think this is what we need uh, not really I have border to the image no I don't so let's add border to the image one pixel and this container has also border so I need to remove it 
So let's publish it, which should look good. So yeah, it's working. Okay, so just for the final touch, I will uh, copy the text for the shop that I created before. I will copy this one, this stack element. And there is something more crazy we can do. I think you would love it. Let's paste it here. So basically every item you paste inside this hero content will scroll up with you. All right. So let's see how it's look. So you can see that the text is inside this container. That's why you scroll up with us. All right. And the last thing I want to show you is you have the option also to to add reveal effect to this image and which gave you crazy uh, crazy effect really crazy effect really nice and it's actually with no single of line of code so it's really beautiful so look what what happened to the border of the image I don't see it exists here, but not here. Mm. That's that's weird. Let's go and add a padding of one pixel. From maybe that will solve the issue. not quite okay anyway look what how it looks when I'm start to scroll down it's like it's crazy effect right so that's it I think um, I think I covered everything and so if you have questions please ask me in the comments and until next time, keep building amazing sites on Editor X.